I want you to reach up on your shelf or go to the CEO's office and find your strategy. It's likely that binder covered in dust. Blow it off. Make sure you don't have allergies to dust. Blow it off. Set it down in front of you. And I want you to take a few moments and have a look at that strategy with me. So I'm just going to give you a moment to go get it. You can pause me and I'll be right here when you get back. Okay, so you've got your strategy. Now I want to show you a couple things and, and suggest you ways in which you can take your strategy and achieve your vision faster than ever before and with more quality and engagement surrounding your strategy. First off, you'll likely have some strategic objectives. You know, those high-level focus areas. If you've got more than four, your strategy is set up for failure. You cannot take an organization and focus its attention on more than three to four things at a time. Secondly, do you have some goals and measures behind that strategic objective? Meaning, how will I achieve that objective? I'll give you an example of this in just a moment. Third, when you look at that objective, do you notice action plans below it? If you do, there's a missing component. I call it the working objective. The working objective takes the high-level objective and sets the tone, sets the direction, if you will, for where our actions are going to take place. So let me give you an example of this. Let's assume that one of my strategic objectives is to grow revenue. That's a high-level objective, but I could do a multitude of things to deliver on that objective. So the goal or measure for that objective might be increase sales 5% year over year for the next two years. So make sure you've got a measure. What does success look like for that objective and how are you going to measure it? Now, the working objective in this case might look something like this. Improve our customer or client attraction and retention processes. That guides my action plans. And if I've assessed during the strategy session where my significant challenges lie, then I'm in a better position to create a working objective that will direct my actions. So I challenge you, when you look at your strategy or the next time you formulate one, make sure you create measures, goals and measures for your strategic objectives. Make sure you create working objectives that drive your actions and your activities. And then revisit every six months with your entire team to ensure you're on track. Let's face it, things happen, business changes, and you want to make sure that that strategy has meaning six months, a year, or even two years from now. If you'd like to talk more about how to create strategies that are powerful, make sure you reach out via all the different ways to connect with me on social media, email, website, and I'm happy to provide you more information and ideas on how to build a powerful strategy and a future for your organization. I'm Sean Casemore. Thanks for watching.